investigation, the last investigation of this book in 4.3 deals with what operations are needed. And what we're going to try to do is take everything we've done with distributed property order of operations, and it's now in a story problem form. So we're just going to work with um, section A and B here on page 84, and then I'll, I'll turn you loose with the worksheet. So the first task that you guys as a team are going to do is part A. So part A says three friends are going hiking with Letitia. For each of the four hikers, she buys two bottles of water and three packs of trail mix. So that's per hiker. And how many are there? No. There's four hikers. Okay. So each person gets a two bottles of water and three packs of trail mix. The bottles of water cost a dollar fifty each, and the packs of trail mix cost three dollars and seventy five cents each. So in numbers one and two, and number one has like four parts to it. So it says, Can Letitia go through the express line uh, express checkout lane for customers with fifteen or fewer items? Okay, meaning does that is she have 15 or fewer items? Okay, so you're going to figure out how you know. Write a number sentence on how you found the total number of items she bought. And then you're going to write a different number sentence that shows a different way how to find the total number of items and explain which operation you used. And then at the bottom, number two, the last question, Letitia has $60. Does she have enough money to pay for all the items? Okay. So I just want you, I'm gonna give you say about ten minutes to work with us through this as a team. Okay. Talk about how you're gonna solve that problem and how you're gonna attack it and show me your make sure you show me your method of thinking. Alright? We're gonna pause the video. Alright, so who can tell me can she go through the express check line, Willie? Alright, why why can't she go through the express line? How many does she have? You know? Yep, she has 20 items. Now let's find out why. Oops. Let me put at least a number in there for you. So let's talk about how we came up with that. So writing a number sentence. Let me go here. There we go. So someone want to share one of the number sentences that came up with me for the total items, Elena? Oh, excellent. So 2 times 4 plus 3 times 4, right? 3 being... What's this number represent? The trail mix, right? And there's how many people? 4. And then 2 being water bottles, and there's how many campers again? 4. So if you have 8, right, and 12, you get... Anyone do it a different way? Okay, so something like this. Right? And you can either add inside and multiply, or didn't we just learn this the other day? The what property? Distributive, right? Four times two is eight. Plus 4 times 3 is 12. Excellent. Two good ways. Anything else? Any other ways? Isn't that what this is? Now, I got a couple other ways. Let me see if you can figure these out. Oh. What if I did this? What does that represent? Where did I get five from? Braden? Divided the two and three together. Yeah, the total number of items per camper, right? They basically have five total items on them, right? Two water bottles and three trail mix mixes. Okay. I could have even have done. I mean, you could have gotten really simple and did. Right. The super long way. Right. Or if there's five items per person, right? Isn't that the addition sentence to this? Yeah. All right, good. Lots of good answers. 
Lots of good answers. All right. So now let's talk about how much, um, well, again, so what operations did we use here? Mostly what? Two of them, right? We used addition and we used multiplication, right? We times the amount of items per the number of people, or we could have added them all together, all right? Because, again, we're not taking anything away, right? So there's no reason for us to subtract, all right? So how much did she spend? It says she has $60. Does she have enough money? Does she have enough money? How many people said yes? All right, so what did you guys come up with? Okay, so they said she has, the, the cost is $57, right? So that means she has enough money. So how do we figure that out? You got a different answer? All right, well, let's see well, Let's see what these guys came up with first. Okay, so there's eight water bottles, right, total for four people. And each water bottle was $1.50, right? Okay. And what else did you do? So you add that? So each trail mix was 375, and how many trail mixes were there? 12. So they did it this way, which is perfect. So this is what? I believe this is $12 right here. And 375 times 12. What is it? $45. And that's how they got $57. Does it make sense now, Aiden? Yeah, it's tough to get. It's hard to get the twenty cents, because even even if you add three seventy-five and uh, one fifty together, that's still twenty-five cents in the cents part, right? Anyone do it a different way? Nobody. What if I did something like this? I'll give you the one of the ones I came up with. Let's see if you can figure out what I'm doing. Figure that one out. Oh, someone said yeah right off the bat. What I do there, Maria? All right. Well, but how do I break it up? Like, what what does this three represent? Yeah, this is your trail mix per person, right? So obviously the 375 is the cost of the trail mix. And what does the four represent? The campers, right? So this side was kind of my trail mix side, right? And what about the other side? The dollar fifty was what? The cost of the water bottles. The four was the campers, and the two was the water per person, right? And I kind of set that up using the distributive property, kind of like we did here. And again, there's so there's other ways that you can set that up. That's just a couple. It's $57. All right. So now let's go to the next one. So we did a good job there. Now the next one's a little different. You're going to need some info. So I'm going to give you some info to help you solve this. Okay. So Mr. Chan buys a roll of towels, paper towels, for $2.19 and a bottle of window cleaner for $2.69. In his state, there is a 4% sales tax on these items. 
Mr. Chan also buys a gallon of milk for $3.95. So he's buying lots of stuff here, isn't he? There is no sales tax on milk. Mr. Chan has a $5 coupon to use at the store. So when he uses $5, is he spending that or making that? Yeah, he kind of makes it, right? He kind of saves $5 off his total, right? So I want you to come up with a number of cents to find Mr. Chan's total. How much is his bill? Okay. And is there another way to do it? And then explain to me how you did it. Now, 4% sales tax. 4% is actually not a number. It's a percentage. If you want to use it as a number, it's written as a decimal. And it's written as this. Okay. So it's a decimal times whatever, you know, times whatever you're taxing. Whatever item it is. Okay. So when you do that, that's how much tax you're paying, the tax amount. That's not a total, okay? So like in our state, we have a 6% sales tax, right? So if you took 0 .06 times an item, you'd find out how much tax it is, all right? If you want to find out how much tax plus whatever your total is, you could multiply it by 1.04 because that well, the 1 multiplies the whole, and then the 4 cents gives you the extra. So this would actually, multi if you were multiply by 1.04, you're actually multiplying the total plus your tax if you did it that way, okay? So for example, if you found out your bill was $20, okay, and you multiplied that by 0 0.04, okay? Who's got a calculator handy? So take, nobody? So 20 times 0 0.04, what do you get? What do you get? You get 0.8. But 0.8 is actually what? 80 cents, right? So that's how much tax would be. So your total bill would actually be 2080. Now, watch this. Take $20 and multiply it by 1.04 and tell me what you get. What do you get, Gavin? Twenty point eight, right? Which is really twenty dollars and eighty cents. So you see how by by doing this, I kind of skip getting the tax and adding it to that twenty. Okay, so that'll kind of help you there. All right. So again, we'll give you another. I'll give you another ten minutes to work on this one. Okay, obviously there's not as much on this one. So let's see what you can do with it, and then we'll come back together in 10 minutes. And while you're working on it, I'm actually going to pass out your homework, which is a little practice worksheet. There's six little story problems to do, which is also going to be due Monday. Okay, so we're going to pause. All right, let's talk about what we know from this scenario. Paper towel is $2.19. The cleaner is $2.69. Okay, he also bought milk at $3.95. There's a 4% sales tax, plus he has a $5 coupon. So how did you how did you come up with the answer, Aiden? Um, so I did a, a paper towel plus the tax, and then I did a paper towel plus the cleaner, and then I did a milk tax, and then I did a All right, so you added 219. So you did, did you do it with the tax? Did you multiply by 0 0.04 or 1.04? Okay, so you did it without the tax, with, uh, without the tax, right? Yeah. All right. So, all right. So you did two nineteen plus two dollars and sixty nine cents, right? Yeah. And what'd you get when you added those together? Four eighty eight. Okay, good. Then what'd you do? Oh, you added the tax to it? Yeah. Okay. Well, how'd you find out the tax? Dividing it by what? Mm, you don't want to divide it. You want to multiply it, right? So if I take four, so for him to find the tax, 
Why are we put? Why aren't we including the milk in this? The milk doesn't have a tax, right? So at 488 times 0 0.04. The answer is 0 0.1952, so we'll say 20 cents. Fair? So, now, is that added on to the bill or subtracted from the bill? Added on, right? So you got $4.88 plus 20 cents, right, which is 508, right? Now, what else do we got here? Yeah, we got to add the milk, which is 395. So now we get eight dollars. Sorry, not eight dollars. If I go right to left here, this is what thirteen dollars. Ten. Here the one. Nine. So nine oh three. So at nine dollars and three cents is our total. But there's something else. The coupon. Got to subtract it, right? Because we save that money. So now that comes off our total. Subtract five dollars, and you get how many people got four hundred three as a total? Excellent. Now, if you wanted to include the, you know, you could have set it up. You could have done it a lot of different ways. Um, you could have did if you did the one point oh four. So you could have did as one point oh four. Times 488, right? That's if you do, if you want to include the tax with it, right? And then we so that's a total, right? And then you could add that to 395, and then also do what? So you could have done that way and figure it out and come up come up with the same answer. All right, excellent work. All right, so...